Hello all you folks out there in YouTube land. Lord Crocosquirrel here. I uh, making putting together a nice video here for the hidden levels. And this is Stein's Gate. It is a visual novel produced by Mages 5PB and Nitro Plus back in 2009. This is the localized version for Steam. And it is currently on sale for the bargain basement price of $34.99. So we're actually, this is actually my second attempt, third attempt now to make this particular video. It's been kind of an interesting little road and we're going to do some little snarky stuff here. But really the, the purpose of this one here is to get our first impressions. My config's already set up and I'm actually going to load for where I left off with the last video. And we're looking to run this about 15 or 20 minutes, just so you guys can get kind of an impression of how, of how it works. Of course, the load works really well. So, here we are, 41 minutes, almost 42 minutes into the actual, into the actual game. And we've already had a look at, and by this time, they've, the, the original press conference is over. For those of you who know the story... Uh, and the time machine has at least been spotted. This game actually has a number of different endings, and what you actually what you do within the game seems to make quite a bit of a difference in terms of where you're going to wind up. Some of the decisions that you get to make, what you do and don't respond to, and so forth. And the first thing I need to do is cut down the audio for myself a little bit. Let me just go ahead and grab that here. Alright. Just like so. Uh, the game only actually has three three displays modes. 1024 by 768, 1280 by 720, and 1980, 1920 by 1080. So, not a lot of choices here as far as that goes. And, you, and the auto mode does in fact work. It works very well. And in fact, we're going to use it while we can. Her metal oompa ran away. I don't know how how the, how, how that would work out. How that would work out. She put her name on it. <laughs> yeah, says the guy that believes just about everything. But our protagonist here, is, she calls him Okarin. He has a, he has a different name for himself, and he has an actual name. Uh, there is no Jap the ja voice acting is all in Japanese. I have not seen an, an option for English audio. It probably hasn't been recorded. Ooh, a hundred bucks online, huh? Oh, that's actually quite a lot. A hundred yen gets a, gets a, gets uh, ten thousand yen. Oh, we can't, I can't even sell it. It's got her name on it anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Ten thousand, a hundred bucks is enough to fund your research. That's you got a problem. Yep, it even has her name on it. She refers to herself very, very much in the third person. Uh, she seems to be the brightest person here, <laughs> which is kind of, which is kind of a sad thing. Uh, she might actually be expecting a response. It's certainly better what she's gonna what the response you're gonna get out of your dead self out of your cell phone that is currently turned off. <laughs> so yeah, my initial impression of this was actually fairly good. Uh, Steins Gate's actually been turned into an anime and a manga, amongst other things. Uh, but it's actually it it's a really strange sort of thing. It actually involves quite a bit in terms of time travel. So, and the tra and the time travel machine was actually up on the roof a little while ago. So, we don't know exactly what the story is just yet, at least as far as these guys go. But we do know that he's a severe paranoid and a conspiracy theorist. He believes most of them a lot. <laughs> And one of the major characters he seems to think is an agency for this quote-unquote organization that's hunting him. Was that a scream? Uh, it sounded like somebody was actually being aggravated. A 
less than half the audience. Well, that's actually pretty good considering. <laughs> of course, the good doctor is already gone. What's going on? We don't know, do ya? And hopefully we'll actually get a chance to have a look at some of the game mechanics in this next little while. But I will actually at some point do a full review of this uh, and get that posted up on the Hidden Levels blog for you. Uh, I also have a couple of other things coming up in the next little while. Uh, a review for the blog about CrossCode and that other game that we did, Max's Big Bust. Okay, something on the ground. Could that be Upa? No, someone. Ooh. Someone that's not moving around too much. Maybe it's you. It could be you. Or it's that girl that you, like, thought badly of earlier. Oh, yeah, there she is. Splat. There's me. There's the girl. And she's <laughs> very, apparently very dead. Kuri Uh Yeah. Yeah, he, he did, in fact, have a little argument with her. And that didn't... Yeah, that's probably her blood, no less. You might want to not be right there. Probably the most intelligent thing you've said all week. <laughs> but was she, in fact, the agent? Uh, uh, the agent she thought she was? I don't think so at this point. Oh, now you scream. What the hell? <laughs> They're probably cops. Or something. Be just your luck. Oh, no, you're going to have call the police. Oh, now you're a suspect, dumbass. They saw you there. That Opa is gone. It ran away and you're not going to get one. It's a bloody Pikachu. Just go. <laughs> don't worry about the Pikachu. I don't worry about you. Well, you're not going to go ha be hacking and coughing this time. You shouldn't be hacking and coughing this time because, well, gravity works. Right, right, right? <coughs> well, if this is the first time you've seen a corpse, then you probably haven't been living very long. Well, you're only 19, so screw it. There doesn't have to be something more. There really doesn't. And that's kind of the problem with conspiracy theorists. They're always ha they say, seem to think there always has to be something they're not seeing, and it's not necessarily the case. The question is, do you want to get caught by the police? <laughs> I found the body. Show Dory. I don't know what Dory is supposed to be there, but we got a little entry there for it, so we'll probably be able to find out. Now, you don't breathe very well. What happened? There's somebody dead up there. You don't seem to... Com she doesn't seem to comprehend it? She's probably still the brightest person in the, t in, in the area. She's like, actually human. Well, she got that part. Okay, and he's got brain stains. That's always good. Well, are you going to go find out, or are you going to get the hell out of here, wait for the police? Yep. Well, the area is already a crime scene. Whether the cops are here about it or not is irrelevant. 
Moe and porn. Okay. Electronics, Moe and porn. Cute things. It was what Moe is. And it's Akihabara. So, okay, there we go. Your phone's actually on this time. I'm shocked and offended. Well, I'm shocked anyway. Daru might know something. I doubt it, but he might. This phone actually has quite a bit to do with the mechanics of the game. Uh, like the toy in x Blaze Code Embryo, it seems like this thing actually has some decisions, has some effect on the decisions that you are actually making. Although in x Blaze, it was completely associated with. Ooh, that is, that, you know, I could have lived the rest of my life without that mental image. The pros here actually tends to get, is tending towards purple. Oh, he's going to send him a text message. That's even better. All right. Well, see, here's the thing. A knife is the most common murder weapon in use today in Japan. So, <laughs> well, it doesn't, yeah, except that you don't have enough information to make that statement, which is really bad. See, for somebody that reports to be a mad scientist or a scientist of any kind, he's really good at jumping to conclusions. He's actually most excellent at it. Press down. Why are you pressing down? I don't know. Well, this is a new thing. We haven't seen this yet. We don't know what that was. But you'll find out, I'm sure. Wait, there's nobody here. Kito. Ooh. I'm impressed. Taito, that's the name of a Japanese company that makes games. And some, char and some character advertising up above there. We don't know what's actually going on. But everybody's just went poof. Akihabara is never Akihabara is never this deserted. Ever, ever, ever. I mean, even in the middle of the night sometimes it's just crowded. And there at the top of Radikan is Yes. Come on, come on, you can do it. Oh, there it is. The crash satellite. Except that it was actually sitting there on top of the roof nicely the last time we saw. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that there because I don't want to get I don't want people to to get mad at me. Oi. Prologue and the beginning so of the end. Yes, you on the other side of the monitor. Okay, she's talking to me. We're going to break the fourth wall here. <laughs> fourth wall destroyed. We're the only ones inside the monitor. Well, probably not. Just you three. Oh, I'm wrong. Okay. Being wrong is okay. I'm allowed to be wrong. That's kind of reversed there. Oh, I'm a lion in the shadow now. Kick ass. Mm, good luck with that. Mm -hmm. I want to believe. I, I, I'm looking for that poster now. It's the Fox Mulder I want to believe poster. <sighs> the system? The future gadget laboratory. 
Akibahara. Uh, you're at Akibahara, okay. The lab. Our purpose is to shatter the system. And why are we doing the slow text thing again? Get <laughs> called out. Okay. In the alley before the traffic light, you'll find the rundown Ohiyama building. The lab's on the second floor. Okay. Brown tube workshop. Okay then. <laughs> but there's a place to put that sells them. Alright, so he owns the building too. Mm -hmm. Land value keeps rising. That's the way it is in Japan, though. It's really kind of crowded. Even for a nation of only 121 million people. Uh, probably because you couldn't do anything else there, bud. All fields to apply. Alright. Lab maps, not researchers. Ah. You're the founder. Okay, that's the name he wants him to, he wants to be called by. That's not his actual name. Okarin is actually much closer. And he's just being a silly. Okay, I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna agree with her at this point. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this up here. But as far as as first impressions go. This one here does actually give me quite the, gives me quite an interesting one. Uh, it's something that I will probably wind up covering in some detail as we as I move as we move along, and most certainly at some point in the in, in the in the reasonably near future, I will actually post a full review of this. Uh, this game got some got huge critical acclaim. Uh, in Japan, when it was originally released, it has actually been a fan favorite for many, many, many moons. Uh, and honestly, I'm starting to see why. Anything that would launch a, a, a full-size anime and a big manga would be something that has... It's got to be something kind of special. Uh, not, I'm not actually big on the protagonist, but then maybe he'll grow up someday. Um, I haven't seen all of the characters yet. Obviously, this is the this is the kind of first impression, and like I said, we'll get into some more detail on that another time. But from what I am seeing, it's actually it, it's probably worth a buy if you can get it. If, if you have the money to get it and you like Steins Gate, do get this. Really, um, if you're really a fan of just just a fan of visual novels in general um, and you don't mind spending $35 US then by all means please um, if you're like me and you're on kind of a budget then maybe you want to wait till it goes on sale a little bit I'm not sure when that's going to be or even if but I do know that a lot of uh, 5 PV's other stuff does occasionally uh, wander into uh, less expensive territory so it may be something to keep an eye on. 
But, uh, again, probably it's, it's going to be something that's going to be fun for a lot of people. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be fun for you, of course. Your mileage may vary. But that'll be me for right now. Uh, Lord Crocus Squirrel signing off for the Hidden Levels. Uh, as as is common for my usual videos, I will say this. I will say this out out front. Be safe. Uh, be sane, and uh, let's make games fun again.